connection is just superb from here, but also the real life connection outside I-35 is not too far away. We are right off South Congress. The capital of Texas Highway is very close by. So you can pretty much really get anywhere quickly. You love it. You spend a lot less time driving, you'll spend a lot more time living here. So, another thing, it's one of these little things that I take care of, is you have USB outlets, or at least, yeah, one pair in every room. In the living room, one in the master bedroom, and one in the second bedroom. Then from the living room, you can get to the small patio. It is small, but it offers privacy with the fence, and it still offers enough room to have um, a table, chairs, it offers outlets. So, you know, it's small, but it's good enough for most people. The um, garden here in the back was built by the previous tenants, and I don't know, it's up to you what you want to do with that. And, as you may see, there are new sunscreens all over, too. Solar screens, actually. So, now we covered the living room, I think. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Leave a comment, and I'll be happy to answer. And then you as we proceed in the hallway, you'll notice that there is a Nest thermostat. It's a learning thermostat. It learns when you are home or on the road, but you can also um, control and adjust it through the internet um, on your own. So you can turn the heating on or the AC on or off, even when you're not home. Then, next to the new thermostat, there is also, and this is actually very exciting, even though um, most people won't care, but it's a new AC, energy efficient, your electricity bill will definitely love that. Underneath the AC unit, there's a filter. It needs to be serviced either one or every three months. That's totally up to you. It depends on what kind of filter you use. If you use a high quality filter, you will get by by replacing it every three months. If you just have a very basic filter, then you may have to service it and replace it every month. So from the hallway, you'll also see this here, this is um, a water heater, I'll navigate through here. Some um, tenants uh, have put up a rack here so that they have extra storage. And then there is um, a water filter, so the water quality is never an issue. As you filter the water. From the hallway you can reach the second bathroom and the second bedroom. Let's start with the bathroom. The bathrooms are identical in size. They are built by a European style or in a European style. It has 
spotless stainless steel faucets by Moen. Here and here. Marble countertops. Ample storage. The typical large Texas mirror. And the light can be controlled and dimmed again. So let's just take it down now. And then after that I'll bring it up. There we go. It's roommate ready, meaning you can have your own key. Either that, or if it's a family, you can also, of course, have separate keys for the different family members. This is the second bedroom. It is the lightest room of the condo during the day because it has a big, huge window with a lot of light coming in, but now it's um, already dark, as you saw, so there. You can't really see it right now, but um, it's a very nice room. And look, the USB is here. It has a smaller walk-in closet than the master bedroom. But still, it's enough space. I have never heard a single complaint about the space that the walk-in closets would offer. Really, never. And, as in all the other rooms, you can dim the lights. So now as we went through this, Master bedroom and the master bathroom remaining. And in just a second, I'll show you. This is the master bedroom. It features um, an occupancy sensor. So once you leave the room for, in, in this case, I said it's to one minute. Once you leave the room for one minute, then it'll turn off the lights. Thank you. 